Hello, what's up guys? In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an emissive material with Unreal Engine 4. So let's jump right into the editor of Unreal Engine 4.15 and I will drag two simple objects to my scene view here. This cube and a sphere. I disabled the directional light so that we can better see the emissive material we are going to create now. So right click here in our folder, first person, and choose material. I will call this E base, E for emission and base because this will be our parent or template material for the instances that we're going to create. But I will come to this topic later. Now double click on this material and the material editor will open. The first thing we have to create is a constant, a float. And this floating value will define the amount of emission for the material. Let's convert this to a parameter so that we can set this value from the outside. And I call this emission. And I need a second parameter and this will be the color. For the color I use also a constant a vector 3 constant and again I convert this into a parameter and call this color. Then I add a multiply node to multiply these two parameters. Okay and the result I will connect to the emissive color and that's our base material. It is black because the default values for the parameters are zero, but we will change this in a minute. Let's close this material editor now. And then we right click onto the eBase and define a material instance. And I call this eBlue because this will be a blue emissive material. Now I check the color so that I can change it. This is the first parameter we defined and I set this to a blue color. And the same I do for the emission and I set the amount to let's say 50. And here we go, this is the preview of our blue emissive material. Now save this and I do the same for a second material instance and I will call this E red. Now when you go with this approach by defining material instances you will save a lot of performance because the runtime when you start the game will instantiate this material one time and the instances that we are now going to assign to our models are just used to parameterize the base material which is already instantiated. Now let's do this. Let's assign these materials, these material instances to the models, to the objects we dragged to the scene. The blue material here directly in the scene view to this cube. And you can see how nicely this is reflected by the material of this wall here in the background. And the red one here to the sphere. Now this is glowing really nice. But you can improve this with post-process effects, for example with the bloom. And I will show this to you now with the post-processing volume. In this first-person demo, the post-process volume is already added to the scene. Here you can see it, it is wrapped around the whole scene. And all the objects that are inside of this box are affected by the post-process effects. If you don't have this post-process volume added to the scene, you can add this easily. Type in here post-process and drag it to the scene. And here is the box, very small, but you can use the default gizmos to resize this box. And once you have it, let's select it. And then we can add the bloom effect here to the post-process volume.
So here it is. Let's check the intensity of the bloom. And when we crank this value up, you can see that the glow effect of the emissive material is increased. Guys, I hope you like this video and if you do, then like it and don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future tutorial. If you want to support me, which really helps to develop my tutorials, then use my Patreon, that is linked here. I say thanks a lot for your support, for watching, for being on my channel and see you soon.